So the other day I went to pick somebody up from the airport and the flight was delayed. And so I was kind of kicking around the airport with very little to do. And I saw that there was a um, there was a shop there with a, a load of books. And I thought, well, that's a good way to to kill a little bit of time, you know, go in and have a look at what books are there. And I noticed that there was a very large um, non-fiction section and a lot of the books there were kind of of the self-help variety and so I went and had a look you know that's a part of the bookstore that often interests me and I was looking at this book and looking at that book and just kind of as you do browsing along the titles and I noticed myself getting kind of increasingly sort of tense and stressed and my stomach was tightening and I realised what it was that the titles of these books, they were all kind of screaming out this one underlying, overwhelming implication. And they were all basically saying, you're living your life wrong. <laughs> you're living your life wrong. You need to find this book and read this book. To have any chance of living life right because you're doing it wrong. And there are books on all sorts of different things. You know, anything that you can think of that encompasses life. There was a book on it. And that book was telling me that I was doing it wrong. <laughs> and it's, you know, I like self-help books. Don't get me wrong. But I don't know if this is a new thing or or what, but. That seemed to be what they were kind of uh, the message that they were putting out. And I thought, what an unusual message to say that you're doing life wrong, that whatever area of life you're talking about, you're doing it wrong. And it seems to be a culture in self-help and, and maybe in certain elements of therapy as well to kind of look and try and identify the various ways that you're doing life wrong. So I'm going to invite you to take a slightly different standpoint because my bet is that you're doing an awful lot right. So I want to encourage you to not think what's wrong with you, but to have a little look about what's right with you. You know, if you were going to change something about yourself, what are the elements of you that you would keep, that you're fine with, that you don't want changed because you're already good in that area where you are? Have a little think about what's gone well in your day or what's gone well in your week or what are the things in various parts of your life that you've actually brought something good into. And how did you do those things? So that's my invite to you, even though the self-help books are trying to imply that we're all doing life wrong. I've got a different sense of it. The wildest things that we might want to alter and tweak and change or even overhaul. There's so much that we do and that we are doing where we're doing things right. And so I'm going to take the opposing view to all those self-help books that I saw in that store that day. And ask you just to consider what's right with you. What's going well for you? What are you pleased with yourself about what are you doing right if you fancy working with me you can find me on alanparry.com that's a-l-u-n parry.com or liverpoolpsychotherapy.co.uk and uh, you can just go there and check out the information there's a few blogs on there as well and uh, i'm always happy to hear from you so see you in the next one